we've moved my mum and we're kind of at a loss of what to do. Welcome back to Cooking with Ben. Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. We live full time in Sophia, our beloved home on wheels. We started building here almost a year ago now, finishing just in time to spend the winter driving around Spain and Portugal. We're just trying to find where the uh, tram stop is. But right now, we are patiently waiting out lockdown with family back in the UK. Join us this week for some good old British rainy weather. Fun life isn't always beaches and sangrias. Sometimes it's a cup of tea and an afternoon film. Subscribe and join us for the ride. Neither of us can stand up in here, can we? No. Oh. <laughs> you want to try the bicarb? Why are you not putting the bicarb on? Bicarb's good for night at night time, I think. Come on. Yeah, good boy, good boy. And out again. Someone's a bit excited, isn't he? What's up? Somebody wants to help me, don't you, Bernard? I just got, yeah, remember it was four bricks down oh, in yeah. the middle, so. So what are you up to? Right, so we're going to put up your mum's your mum's hanging baskets for her. We've got a trusty extendable ladder. What's that? What have you got in your mouth? Is that a pine cone? There you go. Awesome. Can he fit them? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah. So I think this week you're going to see a bit more of us inside the van because it's, yeah, it's just cold. It's really like, it feels like March, April weather, not like the middle of June. Yeah, it's really turned, isn't it, from like last week where it was 25 oh, it was just amazing degrees. amazing last week. And... But I'm just going to cook some lunch, do a little bit of a tofu scramble, and I think the plan is we're going to sort some bits out later and then maybe make some popcorn and watch a film this afternoon. What, what I really fancy watch? watching is Harry oh, Potter. Oh, okay, yeah, because Ben is reading Harry Potter for the first time. Yeah, I'm not a big reader of... Uh, fiction books, oh, story really books really. as I like to call them. But You're getting there that you've read a lot recently. Yeah, I've read, well I'm, through the th I'm halfway through the third book now. So Which is my favourite and it is really good. I used to be the one that had like queued up at midnight to get the books so I'm really excited that he's reading them. Loser. Can you do my work for me? <laughs> yeah, let, let me help you out with that. <clears throat> and reply to some comments. Your eyebrows? I love his eyebrows. So afternoon movie session didn't quite go to plan. We just got carried away working like the losers we are. And um, yeah, just didn't watch a film. So it's almost time for dinner. So this is generally what our work days in the van look like. We just sit down at our little table and just crack on with work, YouTube stuff. And especially on rainy days like today when there isn't much to do and it's quite cold actually to go out. So I know we're being wimps. It's literally, it's not that cold. We are just being wimps. But um, yes, yeah, so this is pretty much what our average day looks like in the van and now it's about dinner time So I think we're gonna make tacos tonight. We found when we were sorting out my mum's cupboards This old the crunchy taco kit. So I think we're gonna do some lentil meat tacos and Then watch a film and then watch a film definitely I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for rice in there to like put a, a foundation in and then I'm going to go for some, I'm going to say walnut whip, some walnut mix. Some guac. Salsa, you'll have salsa, won't you? Oh, this is where, this is where it gets difficult. Mm. Is it good? Out of 10? Oh, 10 out of 10. We, st we just finished watching the Boris Johnson. Oh, mother. Literally just missed my taco completely. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, go on, Carol. 
Um, That's good, you can get a camera. I've lost one. Oh, the Boris Johnson speech about lockdown updates in the UK and nothing really affects us at the minute. We still can't really go down to Devon. No, I mean, and it's getting closer. So, so we like, don't know what's going to happen. Are well, you going to meet one person from a single person household? So, um, like my dad, for instance. Technically, we could, could go down to your dad, but... But I'd rather he couldn't see but like he, your brothers that lived down there. Mm, exactly. So I'd rather my dad see my brother and his wife and the grandkids, or his grandkids, my niece and nephew, than us take like that that one person thing. Yeah. So if space, you're so. a single person household or a single parent, you can now mix with one other kind of household and create a little isolation bubble mm. with them. Um, and that's it, so one household. So he can only mix with one of the households, so yeah. that's why we could, we wouldn't really go down now. So, no, so still not allowed to go into other people's houses or anything like that. And um, I think they're opening up some more open spaces. But I don't, um, I don't zoo, think yeah. that list, oh, zoos, zoos safari safaris, parks. outdoor places like that are opening up as of Monday, the day after this goes up. So, uh, guys, the battery died. I just realised the saucepan handle was like right in the middle of the screen. Yeah, there was a saucepan handle right there, so that's gone now. Um, and I kind of lost my train of thought. What were we saying? You were rambling oh, on. I was rambling on. So we're staying on my nan's drive. Um, and so this is actually where I grew up. So this area where my nan lives, we grew up living next door to my nan, which is kind of like just behind that way. So yeah, this was where I grew up. It's not my childhood, which is nice. We're pretty much back to your childhood home near enough. Yeah, my nan has lived in this house for about 50 years now. <coughs> it's also where my mum grew up. And my nan ran it when I was about, well, probably when I was like two or three, to when I was, well, for 20 years, she ran it as an as a B and b So a lot of my childhood was spent waitressing <laughs> on early morning breakfast for her B&B here and then now she's stopped doing that and she basically lives in, in one room because her legs are quite bad but the rest of the house is pretty much my mum's now to kind of get because they're getting a bit mm. dated no one's been living in the rooms for ages so it all needs a little bit of a refresh and a kind of revamp yeah, so. are you excited um, i've seen them all before which is why i think i enjoyed reading the books because i kids read and picture the films at the same time yeah it's always good but i do really do like the films yeah they're really good they're perfect for a cozy cozy, cozy evening. cold evening yeah. yeah dumbledore sent them off to romania to live in a colony well that's good isn't it Shall we go for a walk? Yes, let's go. Come on up. I don't believe you. Um, <clears throat> that dog food is made for human consumption. There's people that actually taste it, test it. Like you've got dog treats in your pocket. Dog treats. Yeah. And you reckon you could eat them? Yeah, of course you can. Why don't you try it a bit? Well, I don't fancy it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm not, I'm not making that. Do you know? There's my phone. Is dog food taste tested by humans? That's what you said. I don't believe that. Why is dog food taste at a real job? Is that a good one? Okay. Well, is dog food taste by humans? Yeah. Okay, so are you ready? Career match. Here we go. Not one to let pets suffer from unhealthy taste as food. Pet food testers evaluate the nutritional value and, and pet food, and yes, taste test it. Taste test is important, but nutrition is also key and healthy. Um, yeah. That's gross. Plus, I just learned dog food uh, gets tested by humans. Uh, yeah. Well, you learn something new every day. Don't you, Bernard? See? So, Bernard, I'm not eating your food.
Guys, look. Who's that? Oh, as soon as he calls in reflection. He's like looking at himself. No wonder you two got on. Oh. So it's another rainy day and we've moved my mum and we're kind of at a loss of what to do. We've got a lot of stuff stored, haven't we? And we need to go through it all and... Yeah, but some, you know, you just haven't had like any downtime we in really, ages we? and everything just slows down a little bit and that's kind of what this week has been like. It's not as like go, go, go as it normally is. So we're a bit like, oh, what do what? It's higher, aren't we? We do. Oh, little little snacks in the corner there. Bernard, who's that? I mean, <laughs> we wanted to go for a walk up to the dark peaks, didn't we? And see if we can yes. go and find um, some plane wreckage from World yeah. War II, I think it was. Yeah, in the kind of North Peak District, there's quite a few aircraft crash sites. Um, so we thought we'd go and check some of those out, but the weather just hasn't really been right to go up into the dark peak. No. It'll be very boggy and wet up there. Yeah. So tonight is a good night because Ben is treating me to dinner. Aren't you? It's very optimistic. Yeah, it's so optimistic. Now it'll be alright. So what um, so, what delights have we got today, Chef Bernie? So today we have broccoli, brown rice. Soft tofu, no, extra firm tofu, sorry. And some richy tangy Korean sauce. What we're doing with the tofu, that's the best bit. Wow, well, what we're doing with the tofu, you asked. That's a very good question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> idiot. I'm gonna cut it up into small cubes, drop it in a bowl, and then just cover it with flour, so then we'll fry it so it's like nice and crispy to make crispy tofu, yeah. yeah. And then it's quite nice and basic, isn't it? It's just rice, tofu, got some greens, broccoli and um, green beans. Now then, easy enough, because the tofu's wet, dunk it in and then just toss it off. Off. <laughs> the only problem is we are literally on a slight slope, so you can see all the oil's pulled down to the front. We don't have any we don't have any levelers. Not the band. So now the oil is nice and hot, as you can see there. Test tofu is in. And you just literally. I'll put it like that. So welcome back to cooking with Ben. Um, it just needs turning over. As you can see, the tops are nice and crispy. Let's Put in the fiesta and resist on. There's a little bit of excess oil, so oil is just drained off into the bowl. So it's nice and crisp up there, so it's not too oily. And then, there we go. Voila, rice. Thank you so much for this, babe. You're welcome. It looks amazing. That is a lot of rice. It's yeah, quite a lot of rice, isn't it? I what? did the rice, so. Um, there's always enough to feed the 5,000. <laughs> yeah, you do, don't you? You always do a lot of rice. So now... I'm going to eat. Thank you very much. Tastes as good as it looks. Mm. Mm. Nice, isn't it? You can do it. You can do it. So it's a, another cosy evening in the van with the rain outside. So I'm making some popcorn. We've still got this left over from, I think, judging by the title, it's Portugal. A cup of tea and some popcorn. And then and I some think we're watching. Wow! Oh, well, what pop, did I just say? Well, it well, wouldn't well, pop, pop out. out. It's just <laughs> jumped into the camera. Alright, I need to put this down. One. What are you doing? It's not popping. I'm sure they pop quicker than this. No, they honestly didn't. Why don't you move the pan so it's like on the heat in the middle. Oh, jumped a bit. Happy, happy, happy. Now, what's everyone's top popcorn Topping. toppings? We are like, we've only ever had salt, haven't we, really? Let us know if you've got any like epic popcorn toppings that we should try. 
maybe we'll try them next week. Mm -hmm. Alright there, Bernard. Chilly, isn't it today? Mm. Ready? Go, 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 go! Ooh. Oh, see he's gonna jump into your mum's ornaments and things. So we're still in the process of helping my mum unpack and just organise where her bits are going. But one thing that we, my nan's house has is a big cellar. Now my nan's house is actually quite old, it was built in the 1800s. But it was actually built on the foundations of an, another house which was built in the 1600s which burnt down. And the cellar is from the original house, so the cellar is creepy as yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So it's a few bits are going to be going down in the cellar just to kind of keep them out of the way. But we thought we'd show you down in the cellar because it is um, creepy. Yeah, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. It is a creepy the cellar. Is we'll go down and show you. Yeah. And um, there's actually like a little corridor which goes to a blocked off room and stuff like that. So um, we'll go and put these down there. And then I think we've got our torches with us and we can show you yeah. what it's like. We're going to take Bernard down with us just as like backup. as backup. <laughs> okay. That's the cellar, right? You'll put the lights on. Um, yeah, you can reach. Or you like? Yeah, you can reach. Okay. There you go. Uh, See after you. Well, I'll go down this bit, and you can go down the corner. Okay. 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 So this is. See, he's all right down here. Yeah, it's just, It's not. It's just a bit like. It's very um. Damp and old, and don't even look at the wiring and shit there. No. This bit down here is. Yeah, the corridor. There's no light down here. Bernard doesn't like going down. Bernard, come on, down here. Don't jump right, okay? I can't promise. Oh, look at that spike. Oh my god. Just to shine it on the cobwebs. I can like feel him. Where's Ben? Go up there. Good boy. Where are we going? Come on. It's over that. Oh, it's around here that creeps me out. So we're now onto sand, it isn't even a proper floor. Oh. Bernard, good boy. Come here, it's okay. It's an old, can you see behind that wall? Um, no, I can't get it higher. No, that one? No. Oh, you can't? It's just, it's just stone, like that. There's nothing there. So I can't, neither of us can stand up in here, can we? No. What? Oh, no, I can't because there's something coffins. Mum used to call these um, the coffins. Just the old coal boxes, yeah, because they look like... Yeah, so this is all your piping, isn't it? To just watch these pallets as well. This is some old steps that go up to nowhere. Mm -hmm. The steps that go up to nowhere. Ben is not that bothered, he's just more fascinated by the shadows that the torch is casting. Look at him. Oh. Oh my god, the spider's everywhere. Just on the top. Oh yeah, it's nothing that. It's just the bloody cobwebs, isn't it? There's so many. So yeah, that cellar's been, I think that is, in my 30 years, pretty much living here, that's the first time I've ever been properly around that corner. I never used to go further than this corridor because it just used to absolutely scare the shit out of me. And you can see why. And then through, oh, I just can't get over the cobwebs, babe. This is like arachnophobia. Oh my God, look at the cobwebs on this. Oh my God, look at the spiders on this light. They're all dead though, aren't they? Yeah, but... Don't mind me. Oh. So many spiders. <laughs> Someone's done that to me before. Have they? Shut me in there, yeah. I'm trying to get away from it.